Welcome back first timers, but if you're new here, I'm David and this is Terry. We're the first timers. We're trying things for the first time and you can too. In this episode, we're in Gulf Shores, Alabama. We're gonna take you to one super awesome breakfast spot and then another place to get coffee and a quick snack. We got a special treat for you guys today. Terry's gonna to tell you about it. We randomly found this place called The Hangout that has a pirates and princess breakfast. So we thought, why not check it out? Between May and August at The Hangout, they have a buffet breakfast that's awesome for kids. And you have an amazing view of the Gulf right out the window. This place is super cool uh, for $20 for adults and $10 for children, but anyone five and under eat completely free. You get platters of biscuits, gravy, eggs, bacon. Coffee, potatoes. And then you can add on other things like pancakes, French toast, and seasonal fruit. They have mimosas, they have Bloody Marys, and it's pirate themed. And princess themed. We're pretty optimistic that this is gonna be a good time. So what's your best dance move? Run, run to me and stop, so do you. survived the pirate and princess breakfast and I know what you're thinking it's gonna be lame the food's not gonna be good and I'll tell you you'll be wrong on both accounts the food was shockingly amazing it was really good uh, some of the best scrambled eggs I've ever had the biscuits are made in-house from scratch the gravy's fresh the bacon was good and thick you had so much food so much piled piled piles of food and you can get a to-go box Yes, and they offer 10% military discount. That's not all that this place has to offer. Uh, this place is called The Hangout, and it's known for... The Hangout Fest. We had no idea that they were associated. And that's an annual 
music festival right here on the Gulf Shores. And even when the Hangout Fest is not happening, this place is still happening. They have a foam party all day, every day. They've got a fire pit, a giant sandbox, vintage lunch boxes, a Pez collection. It's, it's bizarre. And, and awesome. And they have a bar and a DJ booth that hovers over the entire area. Yeah. This is the spot to be. If you want to have a good time and be right on the water, I think you guys should come here. Yeah. And they don't just serve breakfast. It's a full restaurant. Bring the kids for breakfast and get a sitter for the nighttime because it <laughs> looks like this place goes wild. Yeah. We wanted to stop by and get a cup of coffee. Right now we're at Badass Coffee. Sorry for the harsh language. No, it's a donkey. Oh yeah, that's right. Badass Coffee. It's a Hawaiian coffee place just about two miles away from the RV resort. And it's pretty awesome. I got the Three Waves iced coffee. It has macadamia, coconut, oat milk, and espresso. We've mentioned before I'm a black coffee guy, but sometimes on vacation you need something to spice it up. And this thing is absolutely slapping. And Terry stepped out of her comfort zone. I got a energy drink slushy called the Mana. It's a sunrise swell flavor. It's a blended ice drink with 160 milligrams of caffeine. It's really good. It's a little sweet, it's icy, it's refreshing. And then we both got a breakfast sandwich. She got a standard egg, bacon, cheese. And I went with a Spam and Pineapple breakfast sandwich. So we're gonna take bites of those and let you know what we think. Take a bite. Ooh, it's very hot. Oh, it's so hot. Spam, egg, pineapple, barbecue sauce. Let's do it. Oh, man. It's lava. It's lava hot. Sandwich lava. That's really good. Sweet barbecue, sweet pineapple, salty spam. It's a winner. It's very good. It's hot. It's toasted nicely. Bacon's not too crisp, not too floppy. Cheese is good. Egg is good. Would recommend. That's a wrap on another adventure. And thanks again for following along. But join us next time when we do something else new for the first time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. First timers. High five. High five.